Zachary Taylor was the twelfth president of America, and the second to die whilst in office. Despite owning many slaves, he angered many Southerners by taking a moderate stance on the issue of slavery. He was born on November 24, 1784, in Orange County, Virginia, and raised on a plantation. Zachary Taylor was of English ancestry and a distant relative of James Madison, Robert E. Lee, and Franklin D. Roosevelt. Taylor was also a descendant of Elder William Brewster, who sailed aboard the Mayflower. He died on July 9, 1850, in Washington, D.C., whilst in office. The career of Zachary Taylor included the roles of soldier, politician, and statesman. He was educated by a home tutor and was reportedly a poor student. He spent 25 years policing the frontiers against Indians. In the Mexican War, he won major victories at Monterey and Buena Vista. He became the 12th President of America, but served for just 31 days until July 9, 1850. Zachary Taylor married Margaret Peggy Mackles Smith. They had six children, but by the time of his presidency, Taylor's only surviving child was Elizabeth Betty. His wife, Peggy, chose not to take on the social duties associated with the role of the president's wife, transferring her responsibilities to her daughter, Elizabeth Betty Taylor Bliss. Zachary Taylor belonged to the Whig political party. He was 64 years old when he was inaugurated as the 12th president. Millard Fillmore stood as the vice president. At the time he became president, Zachary Taylor was the most popular man in America, a hero of the Mexican-American War. Zachary Taylor was an average figure, standing at 5 feet 8 inches. He was known as Old Rough and Ready due to his slovenly dress. Zachary Taylor kept his old war horse, named Whitney, on the White House lawn. He was a slave owner, but despite this fact, wanted to ban the expansion of slavery into the western territories that had been acquired from Mexico. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. On January 24, 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in California, which heralded the start of the gold rush. The clayton bulwer Treaty was signed with Britain in response to attempts to build the Nicaragua Canal that would connect the Pacific and the Atlantic. A women's rights convention was held at Seneca Falls on July 19 and 20, 1848. During his life, Zachary Taylor suffered from yellow fever, malaria, dysentery, and cholera. This was not unusual for this time period, as medical knowledge was in its infancy. What is surprising is that he survived these illnesses and lived to the age of 64. Zachary Taylor died of heat stroke after dressing himself in a black high-collar suit for the July 4, 1850 dedication of the Washington Monument. He was buried in Louisville, Kentucky, in what is now known as Zachary Taylor National Cemetery. Abraham Lincoln gave the eulogy at his funeral. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Zachary Taylor, the 12th president of America and the second to die whilst in office. The next U.S. president was Millard Fillmore.